Hello. I had a um, couple of viewers ask me more about uh, this system they've seen me uh, use or show, but I've never really talked about exactly what it is. And So this is a retro game, 300. I uh, bought this, I'm thinking about three, maybe four years ago. You can still get it um, through Amazon. Right now it is priced at $49.00. I don't make anything. I'm not going to put a link to it. I'm just telling you that uh, $49, and I think it's totally worth it, if you want a little retro game system that's a step up from the $10 ones. The $10 ones only play Nintendo and Famicom games. And this one, as you will see, plays a bunch of stuff. So... Yes, you can buy more expensive systems that do more than this one does. Absolutely. They come out with something new in handhelds about every two days or maybe every two hours. I don't know. It's ridiculous. So I had seen a review where somebody said they sent it back because there was no games on it, nothing but a blue screen. Um, man, you don't deserve a game system. So you, you hit this <laughs> button on the back side. Boom. All right. So, um, yeah, there are no games on here. There's NES, uh, Game Boy Advance, Pico Drive, Pocket NES, um, Handy, which is Atari Lynx, more Game Boy and Game Boy Color games, Game Gear, Wonder Swan, Neo Geo, a bunch. I mean, there's so much stuff on here. Okay. So, more Game Boy and Game Boy Color. Now, some of these icons will have things listed differently under them. So, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the one that says Game Boy and Game Boy Color are the ones that have, like, the favorite games. Uh, you know, the top games most people really want. So, um, let me hit my shoulder button and go back. The one I use is the one called... I guess Gamba Gambati, G A M B A T T E. So I'll just scroll over to it. Sorry, hard to do. All right, I hit A. I go to Game Boy or Game Boy Color with my cursor right here. I pick it. I hit A. And I don't know, let's pick a game. Would you like to play Hamtaro? I did actually play Hamtaro. The Ham Hams. So you got Harvest Moon, Hello Kitty. So, you know, we're in H. So all these are, you know, the games that are in that alphabetical listing. So uh, you got Japanese releases and American or European release games. If you can't find games on here to play, I, I don't know what to tell you. There's a ton of games. Let me go back to it. So, um, I don't know. Let's see. Um, you know I would play Paperboy until my head explodes. Any version, all versions, let's play some Paperboy. So, this is Game Boy Color. Paperboy, and uh, yeah, it looks great. Now, with Game Boy and uh, Game Boy Color and GBA games, the games are not stretched. They made them to properly fit the screen when they did the ROMs. So there's no, they're not stretched. They look like they should look. So um, I cannot play this game one-handed, sorry, but I'm doing my best to give you um, an example here. So, beautiful, bright, colorful, great. Looks great. Yes. So, let me get out of it. So, I push this button, and now I'm going to go down to quit. Uh, also, on your... Um, let me get back out of it. So, I can power off, reboot. No, I don't want to do that. Sorry. Can't see. Okay. So, um, you can make files. You can add your favorite games very easily so you don't have to scroll through everything every time you want to play something. If you'll notice, um, whoop, 
focus. I have a lot of paper boys saved because that is a game I enjoyed playing on a handheld. Focus. Oh my gosh, what is going on here? Did I make it worse? I think I did. Ugh. Okay, so it's the Retro Game 300. It plays NES, Super NES games, great. Uh, Atari Lynx games, great. Neo Geo, great. Uh, Sega, Mega Drive, great, 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 great. This is a great little system. Battery lasts a long time. I haven't had any issues at all enjoying it. If all you want, though, is a handful of the more um, mainstream type NES and um, Famicom games, get one of these for $10. If you really want all the games on a bunch of different systems, get something similar to this. Um, and I, I don't make any money. I'm not selling this product. But yeah, it does a really good job. Like I said, I've had it for several years. You can add emulators to it if you're tech savvy. I am not necessarily sure I want to do that again. I tried that with the that EverDrive type cart that I got for the Game Boy. Uh, and I did add about 200 Game Boy games. Uh, it was it was okay. It wasn't too terrible. Um, but yeah, I've got enough on here. I don't I don't really feel a need to add anything else to it. So, and remember, if you have a 2DS that you're not uh, using anymore, or a 3DS or something like that, if you're tech savvy, you can hack it, and you can load all these ROMs onto that. Um, but for form factor and uh, to hold in your hand and make it easy to play and carry around, I think that uh, these are the way to go. Uh, if you're going to be playing 3DS games and DS games, of course, that's the way to go. Anyway, I know it was a really long video. I tried to go as quickly as I could and tell you as much as I can. Oh, one other thing. This does not connect to your television, this particular one. I do understand, though, that there are some in, like, the $70 range that are very similar that you could hook to your television if you choose to do that. So this one is handheld only. That's exactly what I wanted. I love handhelds. All right. Thanks.